we'll uh, we'll start with the mustard C47 shrimp size two. This is a glass shrimp. So we'll just attach our Dyneema tying thread and go to about where the bend starts in the hook. So about there. Get rid of that. Now what I'm using is this wonderful stuff called Halo Wire. Uh, it's got a beautiful iridescent translucency in it. I don't know if you can see that. But what's nice about it is watch what happens if you snap it, you pull it and it stretches and it makes these really nice tapers on the end for legs. So this is the little shrimp that I'm doing. So you make the legs. So I'll just uh, tie these in. And you can it's soft but yet retains uh, shape in a way. We'll just tie this one on first. Now you don't have to be particularly... It's only like a monofilament so... Uh, but you don't have to be particularly precise with this, with the legs, as long as they are looking shrimpy. So I'll have that one in there as well. Now you can weight this, of course, if you wish, but I don't find it uh, necessary. Uh, the hook is large enough to keep it on the correct keel. Just tie that in there. There we are, there's two of the legs in. Go back here, remove that there again. So what I do now is two longer pieces and tie a knot in them so these are more like the pincer or the claw legs on the shrimp. So again two of these. Tie these in. Go back here. Get rid of those. Now we want the, what we call the beard, so this is a, just a few more pieces going central straight out. Do it just fine. Back there again. Move that. The eyes. And these are just these regular uh, shrimp eyes, crab eyes, that are on monofilament. You can make your own. Just turn that around a little. Now we want them about there. Now it's important you get these the right length because we're going to use this mono also for the tail. So we want these captured and secured central along the top of the hook shank. Bend those up there now like this. Perfect. Good. Then we want a another piece of the uh, halo wire in between the eyes. We can position that as well afterwards. And then two long pieces that we'll put each side. Now 
This also gives you the basis for the foundation, should I say, for the body. That's good. I'll sort that out in a second. Now you can take these up and remove them. Don't cut off the mono from the eyes because what we're going to do with this is make the tail. So we fold that around once like that and we fold this around So, this is going to be the tail of the shrimp, I'll just get those in position, there we are. Trim off those. We finish it, tighten up. That's good. Remove that. We just have to lift the eyes up again into position. central one up in between the eyes like that we can position the legs afterwards okay that's good now what we want is a drop of UV resin just on there like that and we'll just give that a blast to hold the eyes in position yeah. then we can start positioning these for gluing do the body once the body has got a whole coat of resin let's give that a quick blast then we can take our marker and just put some small spots on the shrimp. That's enough, I reckon. Give it another coat. And I think that's about done. As long as you get the basic body shape, I think it, uh, it works well. And that's it, really. That's the finished glass shrimp. You can see it looks pretty realistic and as I said you can go as far as you like really with how you want it to look but there you are there's the halo glass shrimp thanks for watching